Thank you, Holy Spirit. One more thing Roshan said. So write your testimony. From next Sunday, we are going to take up a testimony, a, a new testimony, old testimony, salvation testimony. Please write it and give it to Pastor Roshan. Uh, so now you want to know the real date a track is happening. So one notice said June 9th, others said 19th. 19 plus 9 is how much? How much? 28 divided by 2, you get the right date. No, it's 16th. It's 16th. It is 16th. So I just help you to remember. So tell your neighbor it's 16th. That is, uh, that's a Father's, Father's Day weekend. Uh, the, 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 the error is on my side because I first said ninth. Then we realized it better be shifted to the Father's Day weekend. The graphics and the new clips are done by Thilini. Will you give her a hand clap in absentia? And then we have the most important thing for the evening. Yes, Jahan, will you come with you? We have four real brave champions. Uh, I think Sarah led them. Come, Sarah. Come, Alan. Come, uh, Daniel. And Ruth, please come. You, you are the, yeah, okay. Please come. Now, they became zonal champion. One more clap. They the zonal championship. And they tied up. First, first round, they tied up with the regional champions. Give them another hand clap. Unfortunately, there was a second round also, but then someone has to win, but real champions, okay? So we are going to celebrate you today also with food, but this time I must have something to eat also, okay? Yeah. So uh, here, this is the shield, uh, Jahan and Dana and so many others trained them. I have to give it, huh? okay? All four can come and touch it. Come, 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 come. Another hair, yeah, hard work. Well, very well done. Okay. Thank you. Let's pray. Father, we want today's message to touch young, very young, youthful, young adults, those uh, thrifty 30s, uh, those um, ferocious 40s, and we want to touch the 50s and 60s, the salubrious 70s, even the 80s and the 90s, Lord. Be blessed by this message in Jesus' name. Now, this is the message. When you are looking for a vehicle, what do you look for in a vehicle? This message is about the best vehicle you are going to have. Safest, comfiest vehicle. What will you look for the ideal vehicle? You are, you are looking for a vehicle. What are you going to look for? Who are the vehicle experts? Vehicle nuts. I think, Ravon, you are a vehicle nut. Too. Yeah. What were you looking for when you were here? Yeah. Quickly, quickly. Safety. Anyone else? What do you look for a vehicle when you are? What, what, what features do you look for? Comfortable. What else? Pardon? Didn't hear. Design. I mean, it's, uh, it's geometri geometrically safe or looks good? Looks good. That's the right brain answer. Look, looks good. What else? Quickly. Roadworthy. Huh? Big pun. The power. The fuel efficiency. <coughs> Cornering, isn't it? How, 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 how well it holds the road. Isn't it? There are, these are some of the features. What else? Uh, Four-wheel drive. And here is the four-wheel drive. Give, get, forgive, forge, and the spare wheel is called forbear. That's four-wheel drive. So actually this vehicle you are looking for is friendship of God. Friendship of God is the safest comfiest, longest lasting, road worthy, any terrain vehicle that will take you through this life and cross over and even in that next life this vehicle will serve you well. 
So what's the vehicle we are talking about today? Friendship of God. Now I want to draw from a story to what in God goes for friendship. To what end? And this was about a young lad whose father was very embarrassed about him. But about him, God says in 1 Samuel 13, 14, he was having his discussion, a weighty discussion about the next king, next president of the country, next king of the country, 1 Samuel 13, 14. And God was discussing this with his best friend at that time. At that time, who was God's best friend on earth? A prophet called Samuel. This is about 1000, 50, 40 years. This is about 1020 BC. Best friend of God was at that time a prophet called Samuel. And he's discussing with Samuel and says, But now, you now what Samuel was told, Samuel is saying to the present king, but now your kingdom shall not continue. Now, those days there were no white white vans and there was no danger. So Samuel the prophet could tell the king to his face and yet live. Now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought for himself a man after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. Then Samuel arose and went up. So Samuel, God's best friend at the time, said me Samuel, God's best friend at that, at that time was told there is a man after God's heart who as far as regal position goes will arrive.